Hey, this is Greg from Polygon Pig. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Perforce to use with Unity. So first, you need to go to the Perforce website at perforce.com. And at the top, you'll see Downloads. If you click it, you'll need the Helix Core P4D and the Helix Visual Client P4V. So if you click on one of these, you scroll down, you can choose your operating system, the platform, click Download and you fill out the information and make sure you choose free small team user because uh, Perforce is free for up to five people. So once you download those, which I have here, so first you want to install the Helix versioning engine. And as soon as it loads up. You don't want the command line client because it's going to be installed when you install the P4V client. So you can just uh, disable that one and just click next. And you can leave all these as default. So the port number is going to be 1666 and it's going to install to the program files per four server. And that's where our depot is going to live. So click next and click start. It's a pretty quick installation. So once this installs, we'll Continue on installing the P4V client. And let's click finish when it's done. And install P4V. And if you get this warning about uh, continue without DVCS, just click just click it and it's fine. And you can leave everything at default, so click next. And here for server, instead of perforce colon 1666, you want to change the perforce to localhost because um, our server and client is running on the same machine. So this should be localhost colon 1686. And username, just leave it default, Greg, it's fine. Notepad, EXEs, text editor is fine. So click next, install. And as soon as this installs, we'll run it from the uh, Windows menu. So click close. Go in your Windows menu, type P4V. That's fine. Just ignore that if it pops up something. Um, so server, same as before, localhost, colon, 1686. User, let's create a new user, name Greg, Greg Hendricks. Uh, type my password. Email greg at polygonpig.com. Click save. For me, it pops up this warning sometimes. I'll just click cancel and browse to the user because it creates the user, but it popped up the error, so I'm not sure. That probably won't happen for you, but if it does, just ignore it. You click browse, go to the user. For our workspace, I'll just create a new one. And on my C drive, well, first I'll name this main. You name this whatever you want. I'll just name mine main and on my C drive I made a folder called polygon pig which is what I'm going to use as my workspace root and this is where your local files are going to live so with that set up let's click OK and click OK again and it's going to ask if you want to add files to the server I don't so let's click cancel click yes so now we have our depot and our workspace set up so if I go to that folder and Let's just create a new folder named Unity. Create another folder called Projects. And hit refresh. You'll see Unity Projects in here. So now let's open up Unity and create a new project within, uh, let's see, Polygon Pig. Let's put it in this new folder here. Let's leave everything as default. It's fine. Click. Create project. Okay, so now we want to set up Unity to use Perforce. Now there's a Perforce plugin that Perforce makes called P4 Connect. So you go to the asset store, it's um, right here. I recommend you don't use this because in my experience with it, it doesn't really work. And uh, the Unity implement implementation of Perforce works much, much better. So I'm going to show you how to set that up instead. So if you go to Edit, 
project settings editor and over here underneath the version control change this to perforce and now you're going to set uh, put in all your settings you just set up so my username was Greg type in my password my workspace was named main my server is localhost colon 1666 and you click connect and give it a second and now it says connected um, so let's uh, just save the scene for example just new scene so now you'll see a plus symbol if we click it it will tell you information the perforce information down here so it's added local file and if we go over here and refresh you'll see the new scene and also all the project stuff that got uh, created when you create a new project let me just submit this real quick just to get out of the way new project stuff so we got our new scene and if you're wondering what all these icons mean uh, if you go to edit project settings editor uh, right here is a legend so you can see all the different icons and what they mean so let's say well I can submit through the p4b client here or I can right click on any asset in the project view and there's now a version control section and I can do a bunch of perforce operations from here so if I submit you can type uh, new scene I can submit directly from unity and if we go over here refresh you see it's no longer in my change list if I go to depot my new scene is now on the depot so that's pretty cool so let's say we make some changes in here and we click hit save You'll, unity will automatically check this out so now you see it's a checked out file from the depot so if we go to the p4v client refresh you see unity checked it out for us which is pretty nice um, let's see I think that's everything I want to show on this end um, one disadvantage with using Perforce in this way, as opposed to GitHub, for example, is that GitHub has a repository you submit to in the cloud, so your files are safe. So in this case with Perforce, our files are stored on our computer. So if our computer dies, we lose everything. So how do you back this up? There's various options I'm still looking into, but for now, I'm just gonna show you how to set up uh, using Dropbox. And that's what I'm just using for now. It's uh, I don't know if I'm going to always use Dropbox, but it's better than nothing. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, let's see. If we go to the Dropbox folder and the Perforce. So in the program files, Perforce directory, go to server and depot. And this is where your depot lives. So all your files and all that stuff for the projects are here. So we want this to be backed up in Dropbox. And I guess you could point your Dropbox folder to the, this folder, but um, I find it's easier to just create what's called a symbolic link from this folder into your Dropbox folder. And a symbolic link is like a, a super powered shortcut in that it creates a shortcut to that folder here, but it, the operating system will treat it as if the folder is actually here. So with the symbolic link in the Dropbox folder, Dropbox will think, oh, this folder is in my Dropbox folder and it'll start syncing it for you. So to create that, let me show you this command. So first of all, let's go to the Windows menu, type CMD to bring up the command prompt, right click it and choose run as administrator. So with that set up, we're gonna do this command and it's called mklink space forward slash capital D and then you want to give the directory of where you want to put the link into and then you want to give the directory location of what you're linking, linking from so if I just copy this and paste it in here and hit enter you'll see this depot folder pops up in the Dropbox 
So now this depot folder is actually pointing directly to this depot folder here. So whenever this gets updated, as you do perforce changes, this folder will also get updated and Dropbox will see it and also automatically sync it for you. Like I said, it's kind of a temporary solution for me. I'm, I'm looking at different things that might replace Dropbox, but for now, you know, Dropbox is free, Proforce is free. This is a totally free setup to get started and get started using version control, which is very important for your projects. And it'll save you a lot of headache in the future if you make changes that you want to revert. Uh, this is uh, pretty important for all your future projects for sure. If you're, I chose Perforce instead of GitHub because for, I just find it easier to work with. And the artists I work with also find Perforce a lot easier to work with. So that's why I chose Perforce instead of GitHub. Um, yeah, so hopefully this video helped you out and thanks for watching.